In the last episode of the Valid Delete career mode, we started off strong by picking up 9 points in our first opening 3 games and we are looking to continue this great form. We also received our month monthly scouting update and no one really jumps out to me at the moment. Um, at the moment uh, we do have some goalkeepers in the youth academy, the 217 year old. They look like they have some great potential and I'll be updating you guys on their development and and hopefully we can promote them to the first team and loan them up so they can get some game time. Looking at our upcoming fixtures, we do have some difficult games like the likes of Hitafe and Betis. We should also pick up some 3 points against Elche who are one of the worst sides in the league. Here is how we line up against Elche, our usual formation. Our first chance of the game came in after a very controversial penalty from the Elche defenders but we'll take it as we haven't been playing the best so far in that game. Um, Weissman will step up to take the penalty go in bottom right corner and he tucks in. Goalkeeper did even react. That was a nice cool calm finish from Weissman. I believe that was his second goal of the season if I'm not correct. Uh, we also did get a chance in the 52nd minute to extend our lead to two goals, but Waldo drags it wide as we did get a corner from that attempt, but it was a nice clearance from the Elche defenders. As Elche were not going down without a fight, they did get a chance at the end because most of the time they were controlling the tempo and the possession of the game and some passing plays led to some back post bass and it was a nice header from, I think it was a volley from Lucas Boyce. We did get a chance at the end of the game um, to maybe salvage something out of this game. It was nice passing between our midfielders and it was really a nice attempt for Tony Villa to attempt the slick through pass but it was intercepted by the LJ defender and that's how it's going to end the game 1 all. Our second game of the episode is going to be against Real Betis away at the Stadio Benito Villaremon. We did get a chance at the 30th minute of the game was a nice through pass from Tony Villa to find Weissman and through pass it to Buedo and Buedo wasn't going to miss it from that far. 1-0 up against Real Betis, Javier Buedo with another goal, he's been great so far in this game. Um, there, there will be a run in fashion throughout the episode as we concede penalties. Um, uh, against Betis, I think that's the Sergio Canales, the Betis legend. He'll step up to take the penalty. Um, going bottom right, I think, and it was a great save from Masip, our goalkeeper. Mind you, he's only 5'11", which is really short for a goalkeeper, but he, he makes up for it for his reflexes and acrobatic saves. Um, we did get a really great chance to get something out of that game, but there was a really horrendous miss from Waldo. Um, I'm also bringing out Weissman, he had a great game, but I need to give some minutes to Marc Andre, he's been promising Brazilian, and maybe he can get a goal or something out of this game. Um, we did get a chance at the end of the game, was a horrendous header from Mesa, I think, back to the great, uh, training ground, I think, he needs to work on his heading and some other games. Um, the game is going to end in one all. Um, I mean one nil. Sorry. Um, we d I'm satisfied with the result, but we could have done a lot more in this game. Our last game of the episode is going to be against Hitafe. They do have some great players like Mac Andre Cucurella and Hernandez and Mata. I think he's really good. Um, I expect us to give us some good challenge. The first chance of the game goes to Hitafe as they get a promising effort to shoot from outside the box, um, but they didn't trouble Masib. Um, it was a really hard breaking down Hitafe defense, um, but it was a really nice interception from our right back Yanko uh, to pass it to Tony Villa and a really nice vision to find Rocco Mesa who doesn't really score many games but it was a really nice finish for him to score there and it was a very questionable celebration at the end. Um, I've, before halftime we did get a chance to run down the wing, it was Javier Buedo to cross it to Tony Villa but he was a little bit behind so he couldn't get to the ball and we go into the halftime at 1-0 I mean 1-0 um, Hitafe did get a chance right before halftime to maybe get something out of this game but it was a really nice volley from Mata, it sweetly hit and um, it's gonna be 1-0 right 
before halftime. Um, again, we did get a very, very controversial penalty um, from our left back. Uh, we were lucky to not get a yellow card from it. It was a really dangerous foul. Um, but yeah, um, Hitafe will make a substitution for Maksimovic and Mata will step up to take the penalty. Go in, I think it was right. Uh, nope, <laughs> it was a Panenka finish from Matip. Uh, you don't really see that many crazy finishes in penalties from the CPU, but it was in this case it was a nice finish, Panenka. Um, Hitafe did get a chance right there to cross it, but it was a really bad header from Mata. We did also get a chance right at the end of the game from uh, our defensive midfielder to find Marco Andres, uh, the Brazilian magician, uh, that's what I call him. Um, he did manage to get a goal at the end of the game to salvage us a point out of this game. It was a really tough game, but right at the end, Hitafe did get a chance to get across, but it was a really bad header from Mata. As the game's going to end 2-2, it was a really difficult game. I thought we had great chances. If you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any feedback or anything, if you want to let me know, you can put it down in the comment section and I'll be looking at it. Uh, thanks for watching.